Hi, beautiful people. I'm Katie B. And in this video, you're going to learn more about me and the weird and wonderful world of live streaming. So get cozy, get comfortable, and let's get right into it. I probably got to meet me in a way that I feel like is a lot different than other people in the sense that I had uh, left my former employer. I had been uh, most of my career, most of my adult career, I had been a performer. I had been an actress. I had been a dancer for the 76ers. Um, and, but for a period of time, for about four or five years, I had a more normal job. It wasn't really normal hours, but I had, it was really great in the beginning. And by the end, I was kind of over it. So I remember I left that job and everyone was like, well, what you got to No, you have to have something else lined up. <laughs> like you need to have a plan. And my plan was just to go back to acting and performing. And, and, you know, I had done that for most of my life. So when I, when I finally, you know, went for it, I remember I posted on Facebook that, does anyone know of any like part-time work, anything that I could do while I'm in between, like looking for stuff. And I had a friend reach out and they said, I think you should stream on Meet Me. I was like, I don't know what that is. And so I, I think I downloaded the app and looked at it briefly. And I'm like, oh, this is a dating app. And then I didn't look at it again. Six months later, when I was getting to the end of my savings account, <laughs> that friend reached out again and said, hey, I really think you would be good at this. Did you, did you really look into streaming at Meet Me? And I think I was a little bit more open at that point because was, <laughs> I, was, I was in a tougher spot. So I was like, okay, okay, let me, let me try again. So I downloaded it. I watched a couple of streams. And I was like, oh yeah, I could totally do this. Like this is up my alley. Um, so I signed up, I actually started on tag though, because I'm the person I was connected with, uh, with Stella and she was working primarily on the tag side. So I started on tag and then also, uh, but probably six months later started streaming on meet me as well. And I think I'm the only dual top badge left. I'm not positive on that fact, but I think so. So previous to meet me, the only live streaming that I was really aware of was Twitch. And I thought of that as just a gaming community. You know, I knew uh, the only, and the only, I, there's a YouTuber that I follow, but she's actually a fitness YouTuber, but she likes the game. So she was on there. So I was aware that live streaming existed, but as far as I knew, it was only about people playing video games. I didn't know about the other side of it. So it's not something I like dreamed of previously, like, oh, one day I'm going to be a live streamer, you know, but, um, once I found, I, I also have a, a little bit of a unique story that I was already sort of building my social media platforms. And so I also have like a very clear concept of like who I am and what my brand is, so, so to speak, where I think, again, same thing on the flip side, a lot of people come to meet me and they kind of just start talking and then, then they're building their community where I had already sort of started to build my community and the ideas and what I felt like was important to me and what I wanted to put out into the world long before I started live streaming. So for me, it was so natural once I started live streaming that I was like, I feel like I already had the ideas. Meet Me helped get me the audience. Meet Me was the first place that I was able to really start to grow where on all those other platforms, like there were definitely people who were, who, you know, were into my message and into me and my story and my silliness and my positivity, but made me really granted me the opportunity to get directly to a lot more people and grow that family and that community on a much larger scale than I had been able to before. Because when I first started live streaming, I remember seeing a friend and now he, he's on, he was originally on Tags and I talked him into coming on Meet Me and now he's like a big gifter and streamer on Meet Me. His name is AJ Callie. And one of the first things I saw was he was meeting up with people that he had met on tags in a hotel room in Las Vegas. They went on a trip. And I was like, you're crazy. You don't even know these people. Like, this is wild. Flash forward to now, I probably know like 150 people off the app. Like, um, between going to uh, Playlist Twice, VidCon, HQ event, I, I really jump at any opportunity to, to get to meet uh, my fellow streamers and the viewers uh, in person, especially in a way that feels safer than just going to meet up with people by yourself, which I never really do, but I do do groups. We we've done two meetups, smaller meetups in Philly with people I already knew, plus some new people that I hadn't met, but other people I hadn't met. And, um, it's really awesome. The thing is like when you're live streaming, you're kind of on an Island and you feel like you're kind of doing it all yourself. And so when you meet up with other streamers or people from the community, it's like, everyone just gets it. 
and they get it in a way that your family and friends like just don't can't it's like a, it's like a whole different language and it's so exciting to to chat with those people and to like I can tell you like when we meet up it's like oh I have so many ideas I want to talk to you I want to get to know you I want to hear your ideas I want to give you my ideas Let's, you know so it's it's really awesome and even the people that aren't streamers you know the people that are viewers that I've met um and I think a lot of streamers would say they have this experience where viewers will be like you've made like a real difference in my life and that's just so rewarding and so it, it makes everything feel just like a little bit like, okay, it's not just me being goofy. Like I'm, you know, bring a smile to someone's day. And, and, and that's really an awesome, an awesome experience. And when you get to meet people in person, like it's cool. It's a really cool connection. The best pieces of advice that I received when I was new that I didn't really take very much in the beginning was really trying to be a, a part of the community of the app visiting other people's streams, becoming a gifter so that you understand, you know, what motivates gifting, what you feel like um, is a large gift and a small gift, not just by looking at the numbers, but like it coming out of your account. <laughs> and in the beginning, it wasn't that I didn't want to become part of the community, but in the very beginning, I struggled with, I didn't want to go to a lot of people's lives because I didn't want people to think I was copying them or their formula or their look. So I was really kind of focused in on just my own life in the very beginning and doing my own thing because I didn't want someone to be like, oh, well, I did that. Now KB's doing that. And I think that was to my detriment. I think I, I slowed my growth because I was worried about that because later it was actually in one of the podcast episodes uh, that I don't think they're doing anymore, but I was listening to it and it was... Um, what was his name? Liddy, Will? His name was Will Smith, but he wasn't Will Smith. Um, <laughs> it was like, I forget what his username was. Will Liddy? Will Liddy, I think. And he talked about going into the community and, and really getting to know people and gifting people. And I took a step back and I was like, okay, let me, let me really go for that. And that really helped. I think, yes, you get ideas, but you can also do, you know, get ideas and do them in your own way and you meet other people on other streams and I think it was so helpful to know what it feels like and so now that's a very important part of what I do yes I stream but I also always visit other people's streams and even I, I tell and now I tell people who are coming up I say look become be a gifter you don't have to give carpets but you know give some roses give the 100 200 400 gifts just so you also know what inspires you to gift, what makes you feel like something was worthy of a gift. And you'll get your favorites in the in part of doing that and connecting with the community. That's a great question. Um, so I have a featured show that I, I was actually on a break over the holidays. I moved, I was traveling, I got COVID. Um, so, but anyway, I do do a dance show, which is obviously up my alley being a former Sixers dancer. I used to teach dance on Comcast On Demand. So I teach, I teach dance on Thursday nights, but I also dance has always been like a little bit of a part of my stream. I joke that like Thursdays are dance stream, but any stream can become a dance stream depending on the music that we're playing or the vibe that we're in. Um, it's a part of who I am. And, and also because I was a professional dancer, I also feel like I dance in a way that is, um, how do I put this? Uh, PG to PG 13. So it's appropriate for the app where I think some people don't know where that line is. <laughs> um, uh, so dance is a big por portion of my content. I love games. I love playing board games. So we do trivia pretty much every Tuesday. We play a lot of different games. I do a monthly family feud between the apps, which is super fun. Uh, we'll do friends trivia. We'll play um, Would You Rather. Games have, from when I started, games have been a big part of my stream and it really encourages interaction. So I think that's something that everyone should, you know, find some way, some game that you love to incorporate. I also, I try to incorporate basically anything I'm passionate about. I love Marvel, DC, and fantasy. So Mondays, we've been doing Marvel Mondays, where we come in and have a, I put a spoiler alert in the title and we talk about whatever the current Marvel show is and fan theories and predictions and Easter eggs. And that's a really popular, um, I bake on my stream. Baking is another passion of mine. I've done fitness streams. I do a lot of cosplay, so a lot of theme nights. So 
all I would say all of my content is all what I consider I my tagline is the smile verse it's serving up si uh, silliness serving up smiles sharing silliness and sipping on loverade so everything's going to be fun lighthearted, positive silly goofy everything that I do all the content I do on my stream is always under that like bigger umbrella of of silly fun um and and positivity I have done some you know, meditations that type type stream. Sometimes we do talk about living a more positive lifestyle. And that's something that's a little bit more on the serious note, but again, it still fits under that broader umbrella. I set up my background, you know, I get ready. Sometimes I get ready on the stream for my stream. Um, I set up what my backdrop is going to be. I am using this one now, but I also have like a more like nerdy, I guess, superhero-y background. Uh, you know, set up my ring light, get my chargers. Um, Sometimes I don't get my chargers, but you should always get your chargers. ABC, always be charging. And, um, you know, get find some music that I think is like the vibe that I'm in for that day. And I always say, I always, I usually send out my notifications like five minutes before I get on. I'll say live in five, as opposed to just like clicking the button. Um, Cause it gives people a chance to be like, oh, she's gonna be on. And it gives me a chance to just like take five minutes to like, get ready to go live i guess um sometimes though something goes wrong and those five minutes become 10 minutes and my community lets me hear about it for sure <laughs> they're like uh katie you said live in five and it's been 15 minutes i'm like well the ring light fell over and <laughs> the charger wasn't working and then i got mascara on my cheek so but thankfully they're forgiving well, obviously my first goal was to become a top badge live streamer and then i got my featured show I'd love to kind of figure out again, like this is sort of like my honest answer. Like I've grown a really amazing community. I think that live streaming is a great format for anyone who is a performer because it's actually really great improv practice. It's good hosting practice. It's good live television or radio practice. And, you know, in the process, you meet all these really cool, amazing people that are interested in the things that you're interested in. Um, I'd love to be able to monetize more and, you know, be a little bit higher on the leaderboards. I feel like I haven't quite figured out what my special formula is for that. On one hand, I really enjoy my family to feel welcome and that they don't feel pressured to gift all the time. And yet at the same time to provide the kind of content that I want to provide, uh, you know, you, you need to be able to one, get, get which reach, reach your quota, or two, if you're buying games and buying costumes and buying backgrounds, you know, you need to be able to afford to do that. Um, so I haven't found like that special thing that will help get me like higher on the leaderboard, but I'm, you know, still just staying the course and being positive and enjoying my experience, enjoying the journey. So um, I've already met so many people and, and grown a lot on the platform. So I feel like those goals have already been accomplished. But yeah, I would love to find a way to be higher on the diamond board. I think everybody would. Um, outside of the app, I would, you know, I continue to want to perform and act. Um, I think that, again, live streaming could really lead into hosting or, uh, you know, working with other brands or uh, just, you know, acting, doing, doing other things. You know, I've made some connections with other actors in the Philadelphia area. So it helps with like networking. So yeah, I hope to still be pursuing those things outside the app. And, and, and now I also have a community to help. I'm currently, um, I'm currently trying to delve my toe, toe back into Spanish. I've been doing Duolingo every day. And I do have some Spanish speakers in my stream. So I always try and like converse a little bit or learn something new from them. I also uh, am a musician, but I haven't really played a lot. So like, that's another fun thing that you can actually incorporate. I'm trying to like start playing again and I'm not that good, but I can, you know, I, I tell people if, like, there's something that you want to do or something you want to learn. Like you can actually use that as live streaming content. Um, I've been painting recently. I'm not very good at it, but something else. And I'm like, oh, like I can do this on my stream. So um, things that I want to learn. I want to learn Spanish. I want to get back into playing guitar and or piano. I want to paint a little bit, although I don't know if I'll get really good at it. Oh, I want to learn OBS, um, some like technical stuff. 
and let me think is there anything else that's on oh and I'm trying as you can see I have like a lot of plants now I'm learning I've never done this before I'm learning how to propagate I did this on my stream too everything that I do I'm always like here guys learn how to do this um I'm learning how to propagate plants and I'm also just trying to keep all my plants alive so I'm trying to like have a greener thumb I, I've had plants like throughout my life and with some successes and many failures. So every time I feel like I get a little bit better at it and I learn a little bit better, so, or I learn a little bit more. So I'm really, I'm really hell bent on keeping these guys alive. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I think is really cool about live streaming, again, uh, uh, compared to other social media things, it's a lot of other social medias, it's really important to, to uh, niche down, niche down and be like one thing. You know, you really have to be like, you're the fitness person or you're the home design person. And live streaming, since it's such a long form content, it's kind of the opposite of, you know, a TikTok video, which is, you know, a minute long or, um, or Instagram photos is that you actually have a lot of room to play. So I really encourage people, yes, to have a persona or a brand, or like I said, everything is in the smile verse, it's serving up smile, sharing silliness and sipping on lovery. But I have a lot of room to play with what I will do with that, with my content. Like I said, you know, playing music or dancing, playing games, and it really gives you a chance an opportunity to play with those things and also find out what people like the most. And then you can use that Intel when you're trying to bring that to your other platforms, if that's something that you want to do in your life, if you want to grow in that way, if you're the, just there to have fun, even better then you don't have to worry about it at all. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I think that that's something that's important to know that like, there's so much room to play. There's so much room to experiment. There's so much room to try different things, but you do need a heart to what it is. And you can, whatever that may be, maybe you're a little got dark humor and you're a little sar sarcastic, or maybe you're like me and everything is about, you know, having a positive lifestyle, mind, body, soul, uh, et cetera. Maybe your thing is that you're really um, sort of like alt emo, you know, like, so whatever, whatever sort of like pick a path but but play with the content I think is like one of my best piece of advice is for people like find out who you feel like you are 